still second. Kmart's night got interesting. Here he is battling Jim Jackson for fourth position. Call for a flagrant foul. That's Martin's seventh of the season. Looked like a routine play. Kmart fired up after the that's up 15. Williams and Zoe battling for a rebound. They almost come to blows. Williams like, please, Mr. Zoe, please don't hit me. Zoe will put his finger in Kmart's face now. Notice the difference. Martin like, I want you to touch me. I'm a crazy man. Ah, you thought I was coming after you. Zoe Toff gives it from the crowd. The fans know the Nets are the beast of the East. Two would get into it late in the game. Morning and Williams underneath, throwing elbows, pushing, shoving, name-calling, taunting, finger Finger pointing, and the finger point to the face of Kenyon Martin would get morning ejected, and he would hear about it from the New Jersey crowd. The Nets win big, 97 78, only their second win in the last. Now they're the ones standing up to and brushing aside the Suns by 19. You give him the ball, and he's frustrated, Anthony. Kenyon takes it to the hole. And a technical. It's on. Kenyon coming to the free throw line. And uh, he wants an explanation as Barry will shoot at the other end. He and Ori, Martin and Ori are here. Let's see if he hangs on it. Not I think he said he wanted to go to the free throw line, what he's saying. One with 8.47 to go. Away from the ball on the inside, Martin and Ori eyeball to eyeball. Kenyon Martin certainly not a guy that's afraid to shy away from any kind of contact, whether it be in the defensive end or offensive end. He's in the paint and you come by him, he's going to let you know. San Antonio's just 11 out of 13. Irvin Johnson comes down, Peyton trying to run the floor now, trying to get an easy break, and Kenyon Martin comes back with a rejection. And here comes Jason Kidd for the easy layup. Made it much too fancy. He should have rolled in, finger rolled it up. They, they had a foul. I believe they had that foul at half court. I think you're probably right. That's probably why he made that. Yeah. Out there. <laughs> There's that block. I mean, you watch Kenyon Martin. These guys, their athletic ability is just outstanding. It's freakish with Kenyon Martin and Jefferson. And you saw in that open court, Jason Kidd made it. He's rolling in. Johnson got a hand on it, and Kenyon Martin picks up the loose ball. I should say Tim Thomas knocked it free. And Kenyon there to put it right back in, and it's 45-33. Well, we got talking going on. Lots Technical. of it. And that might be on Irvin Johnson. Well, he talked halfway up the court. We got a tee by Garrison. Well, the problem started when Kenyon Martin dumped the ball and he was standing over it. <laughs> Little gamesmanship. They called that on Kenyon Martin and gave Bucks basketball out of bounds sideline. So Kenyon on the play, picking up the technical. Right now, Brent. Kenyon Martin, nice up fake, waits for the defense to pass by. Finishes with authority. And that's where all the jarn started right there. You can see the physical contact. Milwaukee, Peyton for Thomas. He's fouled from behind by Martin. Marv, the game is getting very physical right now, Marv. The players are starting to have things to say to one another. The officials right now trying to break up this little confrontation. That's because, in my opinion, over the last three minutes, four minutes, they have let a lot of things go by that could very easily be called fouls. A rare second chance opportunity for the Bucs. Interesting how Cassell didn't even look at Peyton. He had on his left, but Peyton ended up getting the rebound. Thomas trying to back in down low. By Jefferson and Thomas exchanging some words. And a couple of nudges and pushes. And Bill Spooner and James Capers jump in. A technical foul is going to be charged against both. So a double technical. On Thomas and Jefferson. Macho behavior is costly. Next technical by the player. Six 
16.2 tenths of a second to go, and now pushing and shoving between Thomas and Kenyon Martin. And the Nets bench comes out. That's Michael O'Corn right there. Holding back Kenyon Martin, the former Net who played against the Bucks back in 1984 in a playoff series. This is just the third time that these two teams have met up in the playoffs. And certainly two frustrating evenings for Kenyon Martin and Tim Thomas. And it was Martin and Cassell that were going at one another. And Thomas came over. Cassell is great at luring conversation. He's a talker. And Martin, who had an explosive last season with foul troubles, with losses of temper, this year has been the final NBA player. And once again, he resisted reacting to this guy who likes to talk, likes to incite conversation and reaction out of opponents. Double technical situation as Urban Johnson checks in. And overall, holding Boston is shooting only 33% from the floor. That's a terrific job defensively. Well, and you've got to almost wonder, is it New Jersey's defense or Boston's poor offense? I mean, you really look at them, they've had some opportunities to score, and they just haven't been able to take advantage of it. They call a jump ball as Walker tried to concoct something inside the lane. He was just draped with one New Jersey defender after another after the pass by Pearson side. That's good offense, got it to him in a good spot, and Martin stripped him on the way up and just is a tenacious one-on-one -on -one defender. So if Walker's not going well and they're swarming Pierce as well, where is the offense going to come from? It just shows you the limitations of Boston from an offensive talent standpoint. And then and Walker ends up getting mad at him on oh. a jump ball. Technical foul, and it goes on Antoine Walker, or does it go on Martin? It's on Antoine Walker. We just got a tee. Boston has not scored from the field since the 729 mark of the third quarter. And you know, Kenny Martin has been inside Antoine Walker's head. Not only this series, not only this season, you go back to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. Here they're jousting in there trying to get position on the jump ball. And Walker is uh, saying something to Kenyon. Kenyon saying something to him, too. Look at the scoreboard. <laughs> right, and I think that shows you Martin's maturity over last year, where he more than likely would have gotten into some taunting back and forth. He's just letting his game speak for him. Get back in the game for the Nets. He has taken two shots. He has not scored so far. A couple assists and a couple rebounds for Jake Hill. He's got it right now from Jason Collins back in the game. And a whistle and a turnover on New Jersey. Foul on Kenyon Martin. Yeah, Techn a technical a on Martin. That's what it was. It was a T. And a third foul. And he's got three, and so he's going to sit in a hurry. Now, the technical foul bug has not been one of the issues for him. He is uh, he is trying to control that more as he has been this league longer. There's Paul Pierce. Can't hit the free throw. Yeah, picking up your third personal at this point is not a smart thing to do. Right. They need his aggressiveness.